Hello YouTube and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. If you need a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator, but I don't need to. Not for my channel. My channel is about sharing my love of paper crafts with you all out there. Um, and you subscribers who subscribe to my channel, you guys make um, doing this so worthwhile each and every day. And I love comments and I love to respond to your comments. So this is Paper Pumpkin Alternative video number 10, March 2023's 10 Years of Growth. I'm probably not going to do quite as many Paper Pumpkin videos this time because I'm using some of the card bases as card bases and I'm doing a sample with them. Also because I will be down for a week, the first week of April. Um, and I got no choices about that. That's happened whether I want to or not. It's got to be done. Um, medical issues and I won't be able to do anything. So let's get started, shall we? This should be pretty easy. This is the flyer instruction sheet for Paper Pumpkin. If you haven't tried Paper Pumpkin, you are missing out on a great, not just a great product, but a great um, way to spark your creativity. It really, really is. I cannot express that enough. This is the flyer for April's Paper Pumpkin. Its theme is stained glass. Looks really cool. Can't wait. And then I have something I want to share with you. My birthday is coming up. It is May 6th. I am going to, on May 7th, do a Stamp a Stack live event on YouTube using the Dandy Designs DSP. There's rough, there are at least 10, four by five and a quarter um, pieces of the DSP. There are a whole bunch of uh, one and a half by four inch strips, some punches. Now, if you don't find a use for these punches, use them as a template as something you can lay on a card and figure out, okay, will this fit here? Um, and I just punched some different punches that I had available in what bits and scraps. So I have 11 of these available. I am mailing them out at no cost to anybody but myself is a way to say thank you and I think it'll be a great adventure to um, share my birthday with you all. So if you are interested you need to email me your physical address at aliceseraphin1969 at gmail.com. This is the card. Now I did have, I can't find it now, don't know where it went to, I did have a little strip that came with the kit, this little white strip that I stamped anniversary on. I just couldn't find a place to put it here. It just felt out of place and I wanted the bow there. But if you didn't want the bow there, you could do anniversary. I don't know where the anniversary went to that I stamped. I stamped it in shaded spruce. Oh, looky here. I found it. <laughs> Let me show you. See, maybe instead of the bow on this card that we're going to create together, I'll do the anniversary. I really liked this. Um, I like it just being happy. You could put whatever you want on the inside. I love the stenciling we did. I stenciled on the envelope. So shall we start? So maybe we will use this piece. Let me, there's hardly anything I used in this kit. Ready? We are using the polka dot card base. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter, not four and a half. And you're going to have to give me a minute. I need to let little Zed, little multi poo dog, out of my room. Go on. Can you let him inside? Sorry, guys. I don't want to restart this video again. And he just didn't want to be here. So I have a large sentiment strip. I didn't know what else to call it. We're using this piece it is roughly two by four and three quarters it is from the kit we are using the happy in the brushed kind of gold that it is and we're using three pieces that are four inches of jute twine and then i did 12 inches a piece of jute twine for the bow so i'm going to do those right there to my magnetic clip 
and let's just get on with the stenciling. There's lots of stenciling on this card. <laughs> That's what this card is all about. So I have my polka dot card base and you know I saved these and I use this side for the leaves to go one direction and I use the reverse side for the leaves to go the opposite um, direction. So we're going to do that but we started with this leaf here this is the reverse side leaf and i didn't want to stamp it on both sides because i didn't want ink to transfer so we're going to start with that leaf right like so and this one is shaded spruce it's always shaded spruce i'm not switching it i don't want to mix the inks on the sponge lovers so i'm just pouncing straight up and down all the way down the stem. Now I'm going to turn it. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, love it. So this one is going to come, well, we need to move. Let's see, scoot this under there. Okay, this one's coming this way. And you really don't need to do all that in the middle because that's going to be underneath the sentiment strip but I am just because I can I guess good practice right though I've had plenty of practice with this so there's those two voila now this one is going to come into this corner region don't really want to get ink there so we're going to go right here doing it a bit more than I did on the other one. Like I said, the first one was my sample. So it's a perfectly usable card. So there's that. And I'm going to turn it again using the same one. Right like so. Over here now with just won't want a whole bunch of ink going down at first because I say this all the time, but it's so true. You can add color, you can add ink, but you cannot erase it. There's no eraser for it. <laughs> Just not happening. So that's the beginning of our stuff. And I'm going to show you, we need this. You can see how that's kind of flowing and going its own direction. So next, I usually at this point would switch to the garden green but this time i'm going to start with the old olive and i'm doing this one here and i'm doing it let me skip that under there i'm doing it right in the center i'm even going to bring that off just a wee bit and this is an old olive so Olive needs a bit of re-inking. A lot of my stamp pads do, but I tend to over-ink the new one, so I don't do it till I absolutely have to. Now I'm going to take this and turn it around and do some right here. And that top one is off just ever so slightly off of the card base. You really don't need any in the center. So there's that. Next, we're going to do these little ones. And I just brought them like so. This one is off again. Going to turn it this way. And now I'm going to use the, the other one. Because I want those little, this one is turned down. This one is turned up. All right. And then we're going to add the fur. And the fern is going to be in garden green. So, and you can see I have a little strip of a post-it note to tell me I only need to go so far. I keep getting that in the ink. So I'm going to put this one, let's see. I don't want the stem running through that one. So I need to position it like so. Garden green sponge daba pounce straight up and down okay straight up and down so there's one 
Now I need to do this down here like so. And like I said, I don't want it going across that stem there. So let's see, straight up and down. Pounce, pounce, pounce. So we have that one, that one, and we need a little bit of this one over here. And then we're going to switch to the other stencil. I'm going to get it going real fast. Just as long as you don't have a whole really inky, juicy pad. So this one is going to come right about there. Let's scoot it down some. Right there. All right. Ta-da! Now we got to switch to the other stencil. And the other stencil meaning this other one so that it goes... See, this one's going to the left. This one is curving to the right. So I need that right about there. On that one, this one, that one's going that way. This one's going, actually, I only needed it that way, that way. That one should have been the other way. This one goes this way. And then I'll probably have to go back to the other stencil. So I only need the top half really of this. So that way, that way, this one should have been going the other way. We'll make it work. So this one's going to come this direction. I can take that off now. So here we go. Oh no. Everybody is going to start coming in here. People are making noise on the back porch. It's just going to be one of those nights. And this one's going to go right here. And it's real, real quick. And I apologize for the noise of my family. Oh! So, there we have it. It looks kind of a mess, but it won't be once you stick this on the center. You just get all that floral arrangement behind the card but we're not done we're going to open our card base up and tuck it up there a bit and we're going to bring in let me put this down because i need to start off with the darkest one which is our shaded spruce i brought this in right here that not the first leaf the second leaf up and I basically lined it up kind of at the edge with the stem right off. So I'm going to pounce, pounce, pounce lightly because I can always make it darker. I just can't make it lighter once I get the ink on there. So there's that one. So, so pretty. And I need to bring the other one in. Same thing. Second leaf up from the bottom. You could do shading by just adding um, bits where you want it lighter and darker with this. It's really, really easy. So now we're going to switch once again to the old olive. And we're going to bring this one up in the center. And then we got to do this again on the envelope, but it does make it really, really pretty. Okay, so there we have it. Now we're going to bring in the greenery. And I want to look and make sure I did this. Yes, I had just the tops going this way, right there. And this, once again, that is my shaded spruce. This is my guardian green sponge dauber. So I'm going to do garden green. And I think I can get away with yeah, I can get away with using the same one. I want it down just a bit of it. I don't want a whole bunch of the fern. On this one, I won't get away with that. I'll get away with this one here, but I'll have to grab the other 
And these were what you punched all your pieces out of. So I do have to grab this one to get it to go the direction I want it to be. All right, that should, that's it. Um, we're gonna move this aside and grab our envelope. So back to shaded spruce, everybody. Just kind of the way it's going. So I'm using the back side. I want this nice and tall. Um, once again, I'm use, starting, I'm leaving those first two at the bottom off. I just don't want them on there. So stamp off a bit. Really, really pretty stuff. Just love it. So there's that. Next, we're going to bring in the um, old olive. And I'm going to go really tall with this one just for a bit of a change. So there's that and then we're going to bring that fern in and then I can close up my ink pads and the fern for me is garden green you can choose your green colors you could make them any colors you would like them to be I just chose these three greens I think they go really well together so that is our envelope and before we go doing much more let me close up the ink pads as I don't want nothing to corrupt <laughs> or mess up the project here that we're in the home stretch. Yikes. Maybe I'll have to set that. Oh, let me set all of those. I had them stacked like four or five high over here and not a good thing. So there's our envelope. Here is our card base. It's kind of a mess in the center, but you're not going to see that. We are going to bring this in but I have these loopies and if you guys have a problem making loops like this let me show you my trick to making loops so I got them taped down with some scotch tape so here's my first loop I'm figuring out where this is going to be centered ish because I'm not measuring um, in my card and I'm going to go like so I'm going to bring it down a little Hopefully my scotch tape does not show and it doesn't. So here is my second loop. Now I'm going to turn this one. I'm just using the scotch tape to hold it down a bit because I'm going to adhere it with something else in a minute. So I want it like so. I'm going to show you. So I told you I had three four inch strips of um, jute. And I'm crisscrossing them at the bottom. This is my third loop. Just like so. And the scotch tape, you know, doesn't quite do the trick. So I'm bringing in a piece of score tape. Now that I got it in place, I'm removing that top piece. The others are going to stay down quite well. I'm bringing in a piece of score tape and just going over them a bit. I'm not going to take the back off of the score tape, guys. Score tape is staying down. Maybe if it'll stay, it doesn't want to stick to the scotch tape. But I'm going to put a piece right like so, crisscross it a bit. And now that's going to adhere it along with the dimensionals I'm going to be putting down. So you might want to Pull your little edges out some if you want to. But if you have problems making that loopity loop thing you see on cards, that's my little trick to it. So this now is going on dimensional. So I'm going to just run. I'm going to use some of these. Like where's my glue scissors? But we're going to use this piece here. Probably that piece and that peg. I wonder if I could just cut that right off. Yes, 
that will do for me. So this is just going right in the center or put one in the center. That's all I did on the other one. This one, I'm going to stick right here, just using those bits of the edge up. And this one's going right there. That's all I'm going to do. The other one, I just used a single dimensionals one, two, and three. I wasn't over like going around the edges or anything. I don't think it needs it, but that is my opinion. So I'm putting this where I want it on my card, my scotch tape. Thank you for your help. Handy dandy scotch tape, guys. Love it. In my little frog. You see my little frog dispenser? Isn't he cute? Love him. I do. I do. I really do. Okay, so I'm using my little Ivy bottle glue bottle. And I am just going around the letters. I need to make sure I leave myself some space to hold it, hopefully. Okay. We're going to put happy in the center. Glue it right on top there. Got a little heavy handed, even with that little IV bottle. Okay, there's happy. It's a very, very happy card. No more glue bottle. Don't need it. No more. And it doesn't want to stay there, so it's going to go there. Okay, so next, what do we do? Well, you could use the bow. You could do anniversary. Maybe we will add the anniversary. So this was my 12 inches. I just made a bow and I know that I need to keep it on the card. So I had to adjust it somewhat. We can go actually right underneath anniversary. We can use anniversary for this one. So I'm going to pull my two tails together and cut all at one time. And that way they're even. Even, 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 even Stevens. So this little pop of anniversary, I'm just going to add, I guess I'm going to use some more glue. We're going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to put some there and just there and put it right on the Y. This is going to go down with the glue dot. Thank you, Gloria. So we're going to put this right here. I'm going to add a couple of glue dots, actually. You could add a little bit of um, tear tape if you wanted. I'm just adding two glue dots. Look at there. It worked. Ah, cute, 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 cute. Really simple, guys. Really, really, really simple. Now to add that little sparkle. As I didn't have anything gold to add on here, I do have these wonderful gems and <laughs> I haven't used any of the red ones, but these little clear ones we're going to use. So I'm going to start out with um, two large ones. And I'm going to put three on top and three on the bottom with little medium or small ones next to it. So there's the top. And all oh, this one doesn't really have as much sparkle as the other one. So let's put this one here. The other one has some pink in it for some reason. Right about there. And right there. And, and that's it. it. It's all done. It is so pretty. And so I have a happy anything card and a happy anniversary card with the beautiful envelope to go along with it. And it goes really well with that. And the inside, oof, just as pretty. Plenty of room to write whatever you want. Would you like to see? I still got lots of stuff to do too. So 
these were the stamp sets. This month you got an extra stamp set for free. So you got the lilies, the happy, this leaf, these little dots, a flower pot. Um, I haven't used Easter or spring. I just used the anniversary. I have you to call you friend. You deserve the best I've used. What is this one? I got to turn it over. Um, Mother's Day I haven't used to a wonderful mother I've used. Um, here's to another year of growth. I have used that. Um, that would be pretty um, on the front and then happy birthday. There's birthday to an incredible woman sending all our love. Beautiful, beautiful sentiments. Absolutely love them. They did a great job. I wish they just would have had, I'd like to say happy day. I wish there was just a, a chunky day in this set would have just topped it off. I probably would have used that on every single card. So I hope you like this video and I hope you like it enough to leave me a comment and let me know what you think as I love, 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 love all the comments. They make my day. I read them in the mornings and I do my best to comment that very day after I get them. And more than anything, I hope you come back and visit me in my wonderland. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing. And if you would like, please hit the bell. Um, to subscribe or give me a thumbs up or both would be great. So bye-bye now.